I have a quick review of Six the Musical here in Nashville coming for you today, but the bottom line is go get your tickets now. Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Uh, in the news today, President Biden is rallying NATO for support for the Ukraine. Uh, winter weather is affecting literally a quarter of the U.S., so buckle down if, if uh, that's coming your way. Uh, Michigan State played its first home basketball game since the school shooting and uh, left eight seats open for the eight victims of that tragic event. Uh, it's also Ash Wednesday today, and so I've got... More thoughts on that probably later. Um, but it's also National Margarita Day, ironically. So whichever way you go, <laughs> you got something going on today. Uh, if you missed any of that, you can find it below. You can find me at the Sammy Cohn on Twitter and Instagram, SammyCone.com, and on YouTube. Okay. I had never heard of Six, the musical. Uh, it is at TPAC, the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Sorry, that was probably blurry because I've got cinematic on. Uh, now through February 26, 2023. I did a 15-minute review on YouTube, so I'm going to link that below. Um, but the bottom line is, if you haven't heard of this, it's literally about the six ex-wives of Henry VIII. Um, some died, some were beheaded, some were divorced, one survived. Um, it's really an incredible show. It's similar to... Um, pentatonics in the sense of like it's literally six women on stage not that pentatonics is six women but it's six women on stage like the scene doesn't change there's four female band members that are on stage the whole time and it is just a powerhouse of a show 90 minutes no intermission um it's got the audience energy of like mama mia it's got the historical references and kind of reframing rewriting history a little bit like hamilton costumes are fabulous the personalities are fabulous like it was just a fun show um so if you have the chance i had only heard one song before and that's because i was trying to listen before i went you don't need to know you'll probably want to hear it again because there's so much wit wisdom details um i really enjoyed it i really didn't know what i was going to expect and i really enjoyed it so if you have questions i'm happy to answer them below uh, like I said, I've got that. I'll link to that YouTube uh, review if you want more in depth, as well as um, some like pluses and minuses to it. But I, I really think you're gonna enjoy the show and the touring cast. A lot of them those are very first tours, national tours that they're doing, and they were phenomenal. And it wasn't even all of like the regular cast that was supposed to be in it, but a lot of girl power. I'll just say that. Um, it is, like I said, it is Ash Wednesday, so I would just say let's all be contemplative today. I do want to pray contentment over us. Just find something small to be grateful for today and focus on that, even if nothing else is going your way. Okay, friends, I pray you have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.